Gurish Raghunath Karnad born the 19th of May 1938 is an Indian actor, film director, Kannada writer, playwright and a Rhodes scholar who predominantly works in South Indian cinema and Bollywood. His rise as a playwright in the 1960s marked the coming of age of modern Indian playwriting in Kannada, just as Badal Sarkar did in Bengali, Vijay Tendulkar in Marathi and Mohan Rakesh in Hindi. He is a recipient of the 1998 Jnanpith Award, the highest literary honor conferred in India. For four decades, Karnad has composed plays, often using history and mythology to tackle contemporary issues. He has translated his plays into English and has received acclaim. His plays have been translated into some Indian languages and directed by directors like Ibrahim Alkazi, B. V. Karanth, Alik Padamsi, Prasanna, Arvind Gaur, Satyadab Dubi, Vijaya Mehta, Shyamanan Jalan, Amal Alana, and Zafar Mohiuddin. He is active in the world of Indian cinema, working as an actor, director, and screenwriter, in Hindi and Kannada cinema, and has earned awards. He was conferred Padma Shri and Padma Bhushan by the Government of India and won four Filmfare Awards, of which three are Filmfare Award for Best Director, Kannada and the fourth a Filmfare Best Screenplay Award. <laughs> Early life and education Gurish Raghunath Karnad was born in Mataran, in present-day Maharashtra, in 1938. His mother Krishnabai Ne Mankikar was a young widow with a son, and while training to be a nurse, met Dr. Raghunath Karnad who was a doctor in the Bombay Medical Service. For five years they could not get married because of the prevailing prejudice against widow remarriage. Finally their marriage was sanctified under the dispensation of the Arya Samaj. Gurish was the third of the four children born thereafter. Gurish Karnad's initial schooling was in Marathi. In Circe, Karnataka, he was exposed to traveling theater groups, Natak Mandalas, as his parents were deeply interested in their plays. As a youngster, Karnad was an ardent admirer of Yakshagana and the theater in his village. His family moved to Darwad in Karnataka when he was 14 years old, where he grew up with his two sisters and niece. He earned his Bachelor of Science degree in Mathematics and Statistics from Karnatak Arts College, Darwad, Karnataka University, in 1958. Upon graduation Karnad went to England and studied philosophy, politics and economics at Magdalen in Oxford as a Rhodes Scholar 1960-63, earning his Master of Arts degree in philosophy, political science and economics. Karnad was elected president of the Oxford Union in 1963. Career <laughs> 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 After working with the Oxford University Press, Chennai for seven years 1963 he resigned to take to writing full-time. While in Madras now known as Chennai, he got involved with local amateur theatre group, the Madras Players. During 1987-88, he was at the University of Chicago as visiting professor and Fulbright playwright in residence. During his tenure at Chicago Nagamandala had its world premiere at the Guthrie Theatre in Minneapolis based on Karnad's English translation of the Kannada original. Most recently, he served as director of the Nehru Center and as Minister of Culture, in the Indian High Commission, London 2000-2003. He served as director of the Film and Television Institute of India 1974-1975 and chairman of the Sangeet Natak Akademi, the National Academy of the Performing Arts 1988-93. Topic: <laughs> Literature. Karnad is known as a playwright. His plays written in Kannada have been translated into English and some Indian languages. Kannada is his language of choice. When Karnad started writing plays, Kannada literature was highly influenced by the Renaissance in Western literature. Writers would choose a subject that looked entirely alien to manifestation of native soil. See, Rajagopalachari's version of the Mahabharata published in 1951, left a deep impact on him and soon, sometime in the mid-1950s, one day he experienced a rush of dialogues by characters from the Mahabharata in Kannada. I could actually hear the dialogues being spoken into my ears. I was just the scribe," said Karnad in a later interview. Yayati was published in 1961, when he was 23 years old. 
It is based on the story of King Yayati, one of the ancestors of the Pandavas, who was cursed into premature old age by his preceptor, Shukracharya, who was incensed at Yayati's infidelity. Yayati in turn asks his sons to sacrifice their youth for him, and one of them agrees. It ridicules the ironies of life through characters in Mahabharata. It became an instant success, immediately translated and staged in several other Indian languages. Karnad found a new approach of drawing historical and mythological sources to tackle contemporary themes and existentialist crisis of modern man through characters locked in psychological and philosophical conflicts. His next was Tughlaq 1964, about a rashly idealist 14th-century sultan of Delhi, Muhammad bin Tuluk, an allegory on the Nehruvian era which started with ambitious idealism and ended up in disillusionment. This established Karnad, now 26 years old, as a promising playwright in the country. It was staged by the National School of Drama Repertory under the direction of Ibrahim Alkazi, with the actor Manohar Singh, playing the visionary king who later becomes disillusioned and turns bitter, amidst the historic Purana Kila in Delhi. It was staged in London by the National School of Drama for the Festival of India in 1982. (1971) was based on a theme drawn from The Transposed Heads, a 1940 novella by Thomas Mann, which is originally found in the 11th century Sanskrit text Kathasaritsagra. Herein he employed the folk theatre form of Yakshagana. A German version of the play was directed by Vijaya Mehta as part of the repertoire of the Deutsches National Theatre, Weimar. Naga Mandala play with Cobra, 1988, was based on a folk tale related to him by A.K. Ramanujam, brought him the Karnataka Sahitya Academy Award for the Most Creative Work of 1989. It was directed by J. Garland Wright, as part of the celebrations of the 30th anniversary of Guthrie Theatre, Minneapolis. The theatre subsequently commissioned him to write the play, Agni Matu Male The Fire and the Rain. Though before it came Taladanda Death by Beheading, 1990, which used the backdrop, the rise of Virashaivism, a radical protest and reform movement in 12th century Karnataka to bring out current issues. Movies <inaudible> 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 Karnad made his acting as well as screenwriting debut in a Kannada movie, Samskara 1970, based on a novel by U.R. Ananthamurthy and directed by Patabarama Reddy. That movie won the first President's Golden Lotus Award for Kannada cinema. In television, he played the role of Swami's father in the TV series Malgudi Days 1986-1987, based on R.K. Narayan's books. He also hosted the science magazine Turning Point on Doordarshan, in the early 1990s. He made his directorial debut with Vamsha Vriksha 1971, based on a Kannada novel by S. L. Barappa. It won him National Film Award for Best Direction along with B. V. Karanth, who co-directed the film. Later, Karnad directed several movies in Kannada and Hindi, including Godhuli 1977 and Utsav 1984. Karnad has made number of documentaries, like one on the Kannada poet D. R. Bendra (1972), Kanaka Parandara (English, 1988) on two medieval Bhakti poets of Karnataka, Kanaka Dasa and Parandara Dasa, and The Lamp in the Niche (English, 1989) on Sufism and the Bhakti movement. Many of his films and documentaries have won several national and international awards. Some of his famous Kannada movies include Tabaliyu Ninade Magain, Andanandu Kaladali, Chaluvi and Kadu and most recent film Kanoru Hegaditi based on a novel by Kannada writer Kuvampu. His Hindi movies include Nishant 1975, Manthan 1976, Swami 1977, and Pukar 2000. He has acted in a number of Nagesh Kakunor films, starting with Iqbal 2005, where Karnad's role of the ruthless cricket coach got him critical acclaim. This was followed by Dor 2006, 8 by 10 Tasvir 2009, and Asahan 2010. He played a key role in movies, Ek de Tiger 2012, and its sequel, Tiger Zinda High 2017, produced by Yash Raj Films. Karnad has acted in the Kannada gangster movie Adinagalu. Topic: Other notable works. He provided the voice of APJ Abdul Kalam, former president of India, in the audiobook of Kalam's autobiography by Charka Audiobooks Wings of Fire.
Topic: Awards and Honors. Topic: For Literature. Sangeet Natak Akademi Award and Varthar Navya Award 1972 Padma Shri 1974 Padma Bhushan 1992 Kannada Sahitya Parishat Award 1992 Sahitya Academy Award 1994 Jnanpith Award 1998 Kalidas Salmon 1998 Rayatsava Award University of Southern California, Los Angeles 2011 Topic For Cinema National Film Awards 1971 Best Direction Vamsha Vriksha with B V Karan 1971 Best Feature Film in Kannada Vamsha Vriksha 1973 Second Best Feature Film Kadu 1977, Best Feature Film in Kannada, Tabliyu Nenade Magain. 1978, Best Screenplay, Bumaka with Shyam Benegal and Satyadav Dubey. 1978, Best Feature Film in Kannada, Andanandu Kaladali. 1989, Best Non-Feature Film, Kanaka Parandara. 1990, Best Non-Feature Film on Social Issues, The Lamp in the Niche. 1992 Best Film on Environment Conservation, Chaluvi. 1999 Best Feature Film in Kannada, Kaanuru Hegadathi. 2017 Tata Literature Live Lifetime Achievement Award 2017, Filmfare Awards South 1972, Filmfare Award for Best Director, Kannada, Vamsha Vriksha. 1974 Filmfare Award for Best Director, Kannada, Kadu. 1978, Filmfare Award for Best Director, Kannada, Andanandu Kaladali 1983, Filmfare Award for Best Actor, Kannada, Ananda Bharavi Filmfare Awards 1980, Filmfare Best Screenplay Award, Godhuli with B. V. Karanth 1980, Filmfare Best Supporting Actor Award, AASHA, nominated 1982, Filmfare Best Supporting Actor Award, Terry Kusam, nominated Karnataka State Film Awards 1971-72 First Best Film, Vamsha Vriksha 1971-72 Best Dialogue Writer, Vamsha Vriksha 1973-74 Second Best Film, Kadu 1989-90 Best Supporting Actor, Santha Shishanala Sharifa 1995-96 Best Supporting Actor, Sangeetha Sagara Ganayogi Panchakshara Gavai 1999-00 Second Best Film, Kanoru Hegadithi Others Gubi Virana Award for his services to theatre as a playwright Karnad served as the director of the Film and Television Institute of India from 1974-1975, the Indian co-chairman for the Joint Media Committee of the Indo-US Sub-Commission on Education and Culture from 1984-1993, chairman of the Sangeet Natak Academy from 1988-1993, and president of Karnataka Nataka Academy from 1976-1978. Honorary Doctorate from University of Southern California, Los Angeles 2011 Controversies At the Tata Literary Festival held in Mumbai in 2012, Karnad was invited to speak about his life in theater in an hour-long session. Instead of talking about the subject, he took the opportunity to lash out at V.S. Naipaul for his antipathy towards Indian Muslims." V. S. Naipaul had earlier been conferred the Lifetime Achievement Award by the festival's organizers. Karnad also criticized the organizers for having honored Naipaul. The audience, which had gathered to hear Karnad speak, had mixed reactions to the speech. Some, like organizer Anil Darker, tried ineffectually to steer the speech toward less controversial waters. Others were amused by the episode, and some commented on the research and logic that had gone into the speech unfortunately overshadowed by its scandalous nature. Just a few weeks after this, Karnad again created controversy by claiming that Rabindranath Tagore was a second-rate playwright and that his plays were unbearable, 
In November 2015, during celebrations marking the anniversary of 18th century Muslim ruler Tipu Sultan's birth, Karnad stated that Bangalore International Airport should have been named after Tipu Sultan instead of Kemp Gowda. This created a furore among right wing groups. Karnad apologized the following day. Personal life Karnad is married to Dr. Saraswathi Gunapati and they have two children. He lives in Bangalore. Gurish Karnad, while working in Madras for Oxford University Press on his return from England, met his future wife Saraswati Gunapati at a party. They decided to marry but the marriage was only formalised ten years later, when Karnad was 42 years old. Saraswati was born to a Parsi mother, Nargis Mugasith, and a Kodava father, Kodandara Gunapati. Activism He is a proponent of multiculturalism and freedom of expression. Gurish Karnad has been a critic of religious fundamentalism and Hindutva in India. He publicly condemned the demolition of Babri Masjid in 1992 and later spoke against the attempts to create controversy about the Idga Maidan in Hubli. He is a proponent of secularism and has opposed RSS, BJP and other Hindu organizations on several occasions. He opposed Narendra Modi for the Prime Minister's post in the 2014 parliament elections. Bibliography <inaudible> 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 Topic plays in Kannada Ma One Act Play Yayati 1961 Tughlaq 1964 Translated in Hindustani by B. V. Karan. Major Indian directors who have staged it, Ibrahim Alkazi, Prasanna, Arvind Gaur, Dinesh Thakur and Shyamanan Jalan in Bengali. Hayavajana 1972 Anjamalaj 1977 Translated in Bengali name J. A. M. I. N. I. by Dr. Biswa Roy, Director Film and TV Media. Published by Papyrus, in the year January 2007. Hidina Hunja aka Bali The Sacrifice 1980 Nagamandala 1988 Play with Cobra Taladanda 1990 Death by Beheading, in Hindi it is known as Rakht Kalyan translated by Ram Gopal Bajaj, first directed by Ibrahim Alkazi for NSD Rep, then by Arvind Gaur 1995-2008, still running for Asmita Theatre Group, New Delhi. Agni Matu Mail 1995, Agni Aur Varsha, The Fire and the Rain, first directed by Prasanna for NSD Rep. Tipu Sultan Kanda Kanasu, The Dreams of Tipu Sultan. Odakalu Bimba, 2006, Hindi, Bikra Bimb, English, A Heap of Broken Images. Maduv Album, 2006. Flowers, 2012. Benda Kalu on Toast, 2012. Topic: <laughs> Plays in English. Collected Plays, Volume One, Oxford University Press, New Delhi, 2005. Tughlaq, Hayavajana, Bali, The Sacrifice, and Naga Mandala. Collected Plays, Volume 2, Oxford University Press, 2005 Tale Danda, The Fire and the Rain, The Dreams of Tipu Sultan, Two Monologues, Flowers and Broken Images Yaya T, Oxford University Press, 2008 Wedding Album, Oxford University Press, 2009 Boiled Beans on Toast, Oxford University Press, 2014 Topic Filmography Topic Movies Topic TV series Two Indradanush, nineteen eighty nine, as a PPU and Bala's father. Topic Movies directed Topic Other works Evam Indrajit English by Badal Sarkar
TR by Gurish Karnad 1974 Topic Works in Translation Yayati Oxford University Press Yayati Hindi TR by B R Narayan Rajkamal Prakashan Private Limited, 2008. ISBN 81-7119-627-6. Tuglock, A Play in Thirteen Scenes, Oxford Univ. Press, 1972. Hayavajana, Oxford University Press, 1975. Tuglock, Marathi, Tross. Vijay Tendulkar. Popular Precaution Private. Limited. ISBN 81-7185-370-6. Three Plays, Naga Mandala, Hayavajana, Tuglock. Oxford University Press, 1996. ISBN 0-19-563765-8. Tuglock, Hindi. Tr. by B. V. Karanth. Rajkamal Precaution Private Limited, 2005. ISBN 81-7119-790-6. Collected Plays Vol. 1, Tuglak, Hayavajana, Bali, The Sacrifice, Naga Mandala. Oxford University Press, 2005. ISBN 0-19-567310-7. Collected Plays, Talidanda, The Fire and the Rain, The Dreams of Tipu Sultan, Flowers and Images, Two Dramatic Monologues, Flowers, Broken Images, Vol. 2. Oxford University Press, USA. 2005. ISBN 0-19-567311-5. Three Plays by Gurish Karnad. Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-563765-8. Autobiography Adetha Ayushia. Manahara Granthamala, 2011 equals equals notes